I would say one of my first memories was when I was playing for Melrose Minis and it was snowing and that week I'd, I'd just been given my first short sleeve shirt so I was absolutely determined to wear that shirt. I was absolutely frozen within about five minutes and my grandpa had to carry me inside and and put me in the shower to get me warm. I'm not entirely sure how that links into where I am now, but that is one of my first memories. That's quite a tough question. I would say, as a Scot, I'm afraid it's going to be very boring. It's any time you beat England. I'm not sure if I can say that too loudly, seeing as we're in England right now, but I was involved when we beat them in 2008, and that was a very good day. I don't think it's most feared. Um, I'd say there are definitely players that you respect, but for me, it's hard to single out any one player. I would say that if you look through the squads, all of the teams have got very, very good back row players, and so we know that we need to be absolutely at the, the top of our game to match that. A perfect pre-match meal. I would say, again, as a Scot, this might be slightly stereotypical, but I do like fish and chips. Anything that's been fried uh, is good by me. I'm not sure if that would be good for my athletic performance, but that's certainly uh, one of my favourite things to eat. I think if you're talking superheroes, you've probably got to go for Superman. I think he's just the all-round, all-round package, you know. He can fly, he can move incredibly fast, and he's very strong, so I think he would make a great rugby player. It's got to be an animal that's pretty big, but also can move fairly quickly. I'd probably go for a uh, water buffalo. I would probably say anything by Guns N' Roses is a good song. One of my favourites is Guns N' Roses, Paradise City.